do you think um 2001 it's 20 employers years. should be able to not hire you based on a in tattoo, their tattoos a, off a, a visible tattoo is it like hateful no what if it just says like love or something on your arm like in and out you can't have any visible tattoos oh really yeah hmm. that's interesting um yeah i think that's a little discriminatory <clears throat> i knew uh it's just a dress code but then what if you have like you know what about dress code but also certain hairstyles you know, like yeah this is just my hair dude well that's like something you can't help especially like if it has to do with race you know like dreadlocks sure but it's like that's, i don't know well, i don't know what if you're like oh this is my cultural tattoo or something you know from my fucking indian tribe or whatever sure but if you're just like, like, like my, my, my tattoo and it has no like it has no legal bias in in the eyes of the united states and it's like i oh, get out of here I knew a girl who literally, he, she had a fucking butterfly on her arm. And that was her only tattoo. And she couldn't get a job in and out because of it. I mean, if she only has one butterfly on her tattoo, I, I would kick her out, too. That's dumb. A little dummy. Yeah. They, I mean, I well, I don't know. I, I kind of don't agree he, he, But, like, if, if, it's, I mean, I get, if it's not culture or, or race related, then it's okay to discriminate against, you know? Well, I mean, like you, I guess you, I guess you as an employer have the choice to choose how you want your employees to be perceived by customers. Unless it's about culture. Yeah. Because I mean, like a tattoo, look, a tattoo is a choice that you can choose to get or not to get. You can't choose your race or your culture or your hairstyle. I mean, not your hairstyle, but your hair texture. You know, those are things that used to be discriminated in the past and now they're not. So, okay. So. I got just sick locks, dude. Tight, right? Beautiful. Yeah. You know, washed super immaculately. Smells great. And, yeah. But someone being a white dude be like, hey, no locks in the office, my guy. And I can't be like, oh, well, this is just kind of how my hair goes. There's a, uh, there is a, there is not a, uh, I don't know what it's called. Case. What's the fucking word? Precedent? I don't even know if it was a case. It's a law? Not a law, but it was an act, whatever. Something was passed. A bill? It's called the Crown Act, saying that you can't discriminate against people's hair. But you being a white person, I don't know how that would work, honestly. You have to be like, hey, you gotta have proof this is your natural hair. And they probably could, they probably couldn't discriminate on your hair. Sure, honestly. Naturally, naturally, I haven't washed my hair in a year. <laughs> So, All I could probably tell you is to like put it in a ponytail or put it back, you know. I'll put it up, dude. Yeah, but like, back to that kid, that that wrestler in high school was like, "Yeah, you gotta cut your locks off, my guy." You know what I'm talking about? Imagine if he did that and he lost. <laughs> that would hurt just a little bit more. Or a Is lot not, more. Dude. Fuck that, dude! I just would have not competed. Yeah, but then you're young. You know how long like, it takes to grow locks, dude? Fuck that. Yeah, young like, kid and got some like adrenaline and stuff, and you don't really know how to act or with it. It's like, uh, I don't know. I could see it getting bogged up and be like, I, I guess so, dude. It's probably like a state championship too. <laughs> it was probably, it was literally probably like, yeah, this is, this is the the peak of my high school athletic ability right here, right now. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's bullshit, kitty.